Hello YTPC, Joshua Stewart smoking a pipe up north in the woods. Oh, once again, we are not up north in the woods, we're down south in the shop. Today, I'm going to do a kind of a first impression. Uh, did one with the Cat and Black Cherry the other day. We, we won't go back there, but today... Got some Eliza Peterson Elizabethan. Never would have given this blend a second thought. But uh, was it Bradley on Stuff and Things? He always raves about this, how it's his favorite. And I always thought it was in English, that I'm kind of ho hum on English blends. But then I was reading the description uh, a while back and it turns out it's a vapor so it's like hmm, maybe we'll give it a try I, I haven't actually had a whole lot of vapors I mean I've had some I'm mostly Virginia based blends but um, not too many that are have the preak in as much um, yeah so crack the tin and See what we got. This is uh, uh, August of 23 manufacture date, so not too old. Should be pretty representative. Let's see if we can. Uh, nice little sound. You gotta say the the folding is uh, I was gonna say it was better than some of the other tins I've had recently, but it's off center quite a bit. I don't know if you can see that or not, but so okay, not a super strong smell. I mean it smells good. But, Yeah, just a very light smelling. Got it packed in there pretty good. So let's see if we can loosen it up a little bit. And... Just have my, um, I think it's Missouri Meerschaum Legend. It's about what most of my, probably over half of my cobs are legends. They were good for doing like an initial taste test like this or first impression. Right. I don't know how well I got that. It's only two pinches, but What did I do with that? Don't you hate that when you set something down right next to you and fall on the floor? Oh, there it is. Right in front of my face. Just looking for the cardboard that goes in there. I'll probably be jarring this up pretty soon. Alright, let's... See what we got here. First uh, couple of puffs, it's not too bad. Uh, 
Now a question for you guys that are a little bit more experienced and have had this Elizabethan mixture before. Read what it says in the description and get my rich flavored blend of fine and dark Virginias with a touch of Louisiana Perique added for zest. So I guess this is my inexperience talking. I'm I don't know that I can isolate the Perique flavor. So, those of you that are more experienced, how is the Preek in Elizabethan compared to some other popular blends and mixtures? Hmm. Should have maybe let this dry out a little bit. It's not, not taking a light very good. I'm trying to pay a little bit of attention I don't remember offhand is the three nuns that I like is that a is that a vapor or I got my note cards here that I keep some of my notes on Okay, my notes say it's Virginia, Dark Fired, Kentucky, and Burley for three nuns. Which I would have to say that the three nuns and the Davidoff Flakes are probably my favorites at this point. And the, what is it, the John Cotton Double Press, that's right up there too. The double pressed Virginia, I should say. Haven't had any of the others yet. So three nuns doesn't have any preak. See, I'm just trying to isolate flavor to try to try to figure out if I like preek or not Say so far after a couple minutes into the bowl, I'd say the impression is pretty high so far. Somebody driving around with a noisy car out there. I think I remember hearing someplace that the preaks got a little bit of spiciness. I 
I'm not getting a lot of what I would consider spiciness with this. Except maybe on the retro hill, I'm getting maybe just a little bit. But. Yeah, first impression, a couple minutes into the bowl. I'll be looking forward to having another bowl one of these days. Who knows, I might even have two of them tonight. Got my lap motor here with me. I don't know if you can hear him or not, but he's purring up a storm. As long as I got you all here, I'm going to do a little show and tell. Something that came in the mail the other day. Picked up this little, it's actually like a cigar. I don't know what they call it, holder, caddy, something like that. But I was looking at the pictures online, and they were clearancing them out for, I think it was 10 bucks. I thought, huh, I bet that would work for pipes. So I got one, and... Uh, Sure does work pretty well for pipes. I can fit three of them there. And on the other side, I got room for a pouch of tobacco. Then there's room for another pouch in a little zipper pocket behind here. And you can keep a couple of filters and, and a lighter. And I don't have the check tool in there right now, but keep it all in one spot. So when you go hit the road, you just grab it and go. My, I always keep one brand new pipe in there just in case I run into somebody that says, huh, pipe smoking. My grandpa used to smoke. I wonder what that's like. Well, I can say, here you go. Try it out. So, yeah, for 10 bucks, I thought that was well worth it. Because otherwise, up to this point, I've just been throwing everything in a cardboard box whenever I go someplace. And it's kind of pokey looking when you get someplace and you're digging through a little cardboard box. But... Oh, and then a couple other things. I'm going to have to relight. But it's got pouches on the, or slots on the back here too. Uh, got the handle up there. Got a little nylon mesh pouch on the front. And uh, if you're anti-American, you can probably take that off and put whatever you want on there. But I'm going to leave Old Glory on there because I'm a proud American. Although, maybe somebody could make a YTPC patch. And... That would be interesting. Anyway, just a random thought there. Maybe I could make a YTPC patch. Other than that, I don't know how to go about doing that. But. So, anyway, I just wanted to share that. thought it was kind of cool. And they had them in black and tan. And I'm almost tempted to order the tan one, too, just to... Depending on my mood, or one could be dedicated to aromatics and one to non-aromatics. But 
but yeah, this Elizabethan. At this point, I'd say I recommend it. See, I'm I'm a poor. Uh, at describing the flavors that I'm getting, but it's uh, not too powerful. Pretty smooth. Haven't done enough to tell you how the Nick hit is. Oh boy, we're getting long already. We're 10 minutes into the bowl, plus all the before the lighting stuff. Well, anyway, it's probably enough for today. So you guys that have a little bit more experience, let me know what you think of Elizabethan compared to some of the other vapors out there. What? Now, uh, I have not tried some of the other Peterson vapors like the, or is, is it a vapor? The Deluxe Flake or the, the Navy Flakes. I guess I haven't tried the Peterson Navy Flakes or Escudo for that matter. I'm going to have to get some of that one of these days. I had some in my shopping cart at Pipes and Cigars. <clears throat> and uh, forgot about it for a little while. And then I went back today and the sale is over. That They had it for like 13 and a half bucks a tin. And it's regular, what is it, 16, 17, something like that. So I guess now we got to pay full price. Oh well. Yeah, I think I think I kind of had a bad idea in my head because I might have tried something that was a something that was a vapor a while back that I didn't really care for, but and I think that I thought that meant that I didn't like the pre. But this is pretty decent stuff. And not ridiculously expensive as far as tins go. So I think if I like it, by the time I get this 10 low, I'll probably actually order two and smoke one and sell her one. And... So along the same line, I, I would assume that this is, since this is Virginia based, that it would sell her pretty well. So, anyway. If any of you have any thoughts or recommendations on regarding the Elizabethan here or any other vapors. I think this is the first real vapor that I've tried. Yeah. Worthwhile. All right. Just a first impression from a guy that doesn't know what he's doing. So there we go. Joshua Stewart smoking a pipe up north in the woods. Have a good day.